Today I'll be showing you how to use the VMS Lite software. We'll start by first opening the application. And should you get a message asking you whether you want to trust the publisher or not, you'll need to say yes or the app will not open. <clears throat> Once the splash comes up, I'll enter your password. <clears throat> and the VMS software picks up where we left off. Probably the first thing you want to do is view your cameras. Let's click on the live button. And we'll drag a camera into the live view and another camera to change the live view. Click on the view layout and you can change to any grid you want. You can also click and drag these around and they'll switch places. Let's talk about the individual camera controls. Notice while I'm on the office, you can see there's a gray bar and a more button. Pressing the more button will allow us to have access to these other items. We can change the stream from the substream, which is a lower quality, to the mainstream, which is a higher quality. Uh, let me show you the difference between the two. So here on the left, I have the higher bit stream, and on the right, I have the lower bit stream, and you can see the differences between the two. I will double click here, down to more, and use a digital zoom. I have a box I can drag around. You can even use the controls down here on the left. Or I can just drag the box around. So I don't want to give you vertigo. I'll disable this, double click, put us back where we are. Now, probably the most important thing you want to do with the VMS software is view playback. So you can either click the playback button up here, or if it's not up there, click on the home button, and then go to remote playback. To view a camera on remote playback, you're going to drag a camera into the grid. And then you'll have a histogram down here at the bottom. The pink is what's being recorded 24-7, and the red is what's being recorded on motion only. If we go down here in the bottom left, select alarm record. We can filter this, and now we just have the motion recordings. I'll make the timeline bigger by clicking the plus arrow, plus icon. Let's find something that we can look at. Look at 7:30 this morning. Okay, so this is our office. 7:30 this morning. These icons: play, self-explanatory, pause. Also, if you hover over, they'll give you an indicator of what they are. So I'll click on the next one, and you can see that the little yellow play bar has moved. So I'll click it again. There we go. I'll press stop. The next thing you may want to do is export this so you can give it to the police or someone else. We'll click on file list and we'll pick time for that file. I'll scroll down to 730. I'll select it. Then I'll select the export video button. Then you need to choose a path. I'm going to put this on my desktop so we can find it later. See, we have a little green export. You can see that this is happening right now. When this is done, we'll look on my desktop and see that the file is there. Now you can see there's the time. And if we open it up, it'll take a moment to open.
and that's how to export the video. And I think that should be the basics to get you started viewing, reviewing, and exporting.